Welcome to Finn and we're down here at Honeywell and uh, very pleased to be joined now by uh, Bob Smith. Bob is the President of Mechanical Systems and Components for Honeywell. Welcome to Finn. Thanks very much, thanks for having me. Uh, let's talk about Honeywell to begin with and the, the legacy of such a diverse business. Yeah, it's, it's a great legacy. I mean, we're a combined company of a bunch of great names. So the Lightcombing, the Garrett, the Sperry, all of those names came together along with Allied Signal to make, it, it, along with Legacy Honeywell, into a great aerospace company. And so we're very proud of that legacy and what we'll be able to do. And now they do say that there's no progress without some change. I think it's fair to say when it comes to innovation and evolving, Honeywell is really leading the way. Yeah, I, I'm very proud of what we've been able to do. And you see a lot of that here at the Paris Air Show. You see the most advanced fighter that has a huge amount of content on our F-35, whether it's our power and thermal management system, what we have in inertial systems on that aircraft, or what we just saw with the E-2 on a regional aircraft where we have the most advanced aircraft uh, cockpit in the industry with the E-2 and what we're doing in synthetic vision on that aircraft. So very exciting show for us just from those two aircraft. And I know you're, you're very passionate about uh, the way that your technology is evolving and adapting. Yeah. Um, you are in many cases out innovating Silicon Valley. Well, I think there's many things that people forget that happens that's now showing up in Silicon Valley. So we talk about things like GPS and the reason why you know where you are on all your smartphones. The only reason why they're smart is because they have GPS technology that came from technology that came two decades ago that is actually telling you where you are. Whether it's high integrity software that we use throughout the industry, that came from aerospace. Those iPads that you use came from displays technologies that Honeywell developed back in the 90s and early 2000s. So there's a lot of that technology that literally has been de developed a decade or two prior that is now getting applied into a lot of different areas. But we're not standing by and waiting for that to stop, so we're doing more things. So we're doing things like uh, high-speed connectivity to aircraft flying at 0.9, the speed of sound, and yet you get an at-home experience around what you see in terms of being able to stream video, to be able to do Facebook, do a bunch of connectivity that you want both in the cabin as what you can do from a maintenance standpoint. So it's a great great segment in terms of what we talk about in terms of innovation across the board. Now, if anyone at Honeywell has got the crystal ball, I reckon it's you, Bob. So tell me what's next on the uh, on the radar for Honeywell. Well, I think there's, there's an expansion of what we're doing in connectivity. So we're just now beginning the area of taking both direct data off the aircraft, inferred data from variety of other ground-based and space-based sensors, as well as combining that with what we know about the aircraft itself to improve overall maintenance solutions and offerings to improve the overall capability. So connectivity story is just beginning.